A nonprofit organization teaching computer coding to children living in NYCHA complexes received a major boost to its budget this week. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell introduces us to the man on a mission to open opportunities for underserved kids. Across the street from the Amsterdam houses on 61st at West End, a class of neighborhood kids learns the Hood Code. Who wants to share a project they completed? Jason Gibson founded Hood Code five years ago and now serves 70 students each week across three NYCHA connected locations. How do you make coding interesting for kids in this neighborhood? Yeah, well, that's kind of a challenge. We talk about their games, right? Like all kids love games. So we try to help them envision themselves actually creating something that they play. His efforts earned him the $200,000 David Prize this week, awarded each year to five individuals working to create a better and brighter New York City. The funds will help Hood Code serve kids in more complexes and hire more instructors like 16-year-olds Anthony Zeller and Christopher Glasby, whose older sister took classes from the program. One day she was, she was coding and I seen her on her computer screen and I was like, what is that? She taught me it. Both tutors plan to study computer science in college. I'm trying to make it disappear. It feels great to help the middle schoolers to code, teach them how to do stuff on computers. Gibson's goal to give guidance goes back to his days sitting in a cell. In 2013, he received a five-year sentence for drug charges. During that time, I was trying to figure out, like, what am I going to come home and do? He decided the tech industry would afford him the same lifestyle selling drugs supported. On Zuckerberg and Bill Gates and these folks, you know, they had exposure to technology at a really young age. So then that just had me thinking about younger generations. Gibson used his skills of salesmanship to recruit sponsors and the support of the city to start his program in East Harlem. As Hood Code grows, he hopes to show every kid in public housing they too can choose smarts over streets. On the Upper West Side, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News. A great turnaround. Yeah, I Fantastic. feel like coding is like one of those essential skills that are, well, our children's For people generation. younger than us. <laughs> are really going to need yeah. like, just to get through life. Absolutely.